Um, start with the healing candle, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> the healing candle. The healing candle has a base of honeysuckle, and it has almond in it, and it has some other herbs in that. What that healing candle um, is designed to do is to put you back in harmony with yourself. To find out where you're lacking in your ease, I mean, you know, that, that whole rephrasing disease, dis-ease, mm-hmm. um, using that concept and finding out how to restore your vitality, how to bring your body, mind, spirit back into harmony. Um, and so it starts at that level first. So when you have a cold um, or the flu, sometimes I've noticed, and I'm not using anyone else's teaching but my own, I've noticed that's when you're you're done. <laughs> you're giving up the fight. <laughs> We're always fighting mm-hmm. bacteria and viruses, et cetera. So when you need a rest and when you need to give up the fight and when you're not listening to your body and your spirit saying, I'm done, I need some personal time, that's usually when the the cold or a flu really takes hold. So when I'm feeling like that, that's when I'll bring out the healing candle to, to help me bring myself back into harmony and then be able to take that time for myself to stop the craziness, stop the insanity. Um, and and so that's what, how the healing candle works. This candle can give me a little verklempt because mm-hmm. a long time ago this one woman sent me this letter and and she said she's terminal and she goes, I know these candles aren't going to cure my cancer but they're the only thing that bring me peace during my journey of transition. And I was just, I know, I know you got a gulp on that one, don't you? Yeah, I I had to take a step back there for a second. It, it, <laughs> and it, yeah, I know, I was like, oh my God. Well, I did get a letter from her family because her family was buying her the healing candles by the case. When I found that out, I sent her a case. Because, I mean, what else am I going to do at that point, really? And then her family contacted us later and, and thanked us for all that. And I was just like, I couldn't talk about it for months. Oh, yeah, this is a – oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, uh, in, in a very, very touching way. And as I was telling Beth yesterday, um, a lot of times I don't think that we necessarily realize especially if you're in a business that is mail order or internet order or, Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, where you're using telephony products. You don't necessarily see and or interact with a lot of people or know how much of an impact that you've had upon them. And then you receive these particular types of letters. It's, It's amazing. 